What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. I dropped a banger for y'all earlier today. Make sure y'all go and check these out. And I wasn't even going to do the video tonight. I was going to wait till the morning. But Army, when we get breaking news, we got to go ahead and jump in front of the camera as soon as possible. So that way I can let the Army know what's to it. So because of that, Army, all I need is a favor from y'all. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up for this video, Army. Let's get this joint to 2,000 thumbs ups. Same thing that I asked for for the Air Jordan 4 video earlier today. And I want to say we had like 25% done. We had like 500 thumbs ups. So keep showing that love. Keep smashing that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. So first on the agenda, Army, I want to talk about two new sneakers that we just got word of. First, I'm going to go ahead and show love to the phone posit people. Z Sneaker here broke the news, letting us know that the Nike phone posit DMVs will be dropping holiday 20. 24 now i was on facetime with z sneakerhead earlier today he was like i got a sneaker that's dropping it ain't jordan but you know i feel like people gonna rock with it and because i know z sneakerhead i instantly was like well bro it's a phone posits now i ain't gonna lie i thought it was the galaxy phones because i'm still wondering like where's the information where's the news as far as the galaxy phones are they being pushed back are we getting them but of course, we're going to stay tuned to see what Z Sneakerhead and Sneaker Files have to say as far as the Nike Phone Posit Galaxies. Because we already know what time it is when them joints drop. No matter if you're a Phone Posit head, no matter if you don't rock them, you're a Phone Posit Pro, you're a Phone Posit with the big Nike swoosh, the little Nike swoosh, the no Nike swoosh, the suede, the new buck. Whatever they change up on them, I feel like when these galaxies drop, everybody going to stop and try to go for them. So again, the Nike Phone Posit 1 DMV dropping holiday 2024 and if anything the only thing that's probably gonna push people away from not grabbing them is hey if you don't like phones or the price point i feel like whenever it comes to phones everybody always say bro phones are just too expensive retail and that's why they don't buy it. now the next sneaker army i'm grabbing these joints by default bro and they call them these joints the blueberries now, it's only right that you get the white version of the game royals now i'm not 100 percent sure exactly what blue is gonna be but they did this with the Retro 13s as well. We got the Air Jordan 13 Hyper Royals. Then we got the Air Jordan 13 Black Hyper Royals. So pretty much the same spiel. I just didn't expect them to do that so fast, especially when they're giving us like the red taxis. And like, y'all just know when it comes to Retro 12s, they just like to play around with these colorways. And again, I'm not saying that I'm not for those. I already nicknamed them joints the Go Mob 12s. <laughs> like, we already know Founders Day next year. Every Sigma and Zeta gonna have them joints on, bro. Like, they gonna sell out simply for the blue and white family. Still can see them moving. My whole thing is I seen people going crazy for those in a Cherry 12 set. But then again, maybe people just like blue more than red, and that's why they going for them. Again, I got to get over my own personal feelings of how I feel about OGs and just know that everybody don't care as wholeheartedly as far as the OGs as I do. And I also was hearing a lot of people saying how they want a pair of Air Jordan 12 French Blues when we just got the French Blues in 2016. If anything, Jordan brand need to bring back the Air Jordan 12 Flints. We ain't seen the Flint 12s since God knows how long. I want to say like 2002 was the last time that we got the Air Jordan 12 Flints. Well, actually the first time, so them joints never retro. Last but not least, we got an accurate mock-up of the Air Jordan 6 Fire Reds dropping October 12th. Now, these Air Jordan 6 Fire Reds is kind of playing off of the Air Jordan 7 DMP Raptors, especially how they have the color blocking on these. Only thing they missing is a little bit of purple, which low-key would have set them joints off. I would have been here for a pair of Air Jordan 6 Raptors, over a pair of Air Jordan 6 Fire Reds, if that makes sense. But again, shout out to Z Sneakerhead and Sneaker Files for the update. The Army Z Sneakerhead also updated us on some release day changes. Now, the Air Jordan 1 Green Glows is switching places with the Air Jordan 1, what, what was I calling them? Bicentennial Man. So now the Air Jordan 1 Green Glows are dropping on April 20th. The Air Jordan 1 Team Reds are dropping on April 27th. Now, these I actually want, and I was upset that I took an L on the shot drop. The Air Jordan 1 OG Low Shadows are now dropping May 4th. So those are being pushed up. The Air Jordan 13 Doom Reds are being pushed back to June 25th. Also, the Air Jordan 4 Oxidized Green will be dropping on June 15th. So a lot of sneakers have been shuffled and moved around. How is that playing with y'all wallet? Because I know as far as this year, a lot of people already got their payments 
set up. All right, I know in May, I'm going to pay for the Air Jordan 4 militaries. And then I got the J Balvins, and then I got these, and I got these. So let me know if these release date changes is affecting anything that you got planned. Because the biggest one of them all got pushed back. The Air Jordan 4 military blues are now being pushed back to May 25th. So originally, we were supposed to get them in the end of April. Then they pushed it back the following week to like May 4th or May 5th. And now we're getting them on May 25th, which is around the same time that we will be getting the Air Jordan 3 J Balvin's. I want to say the J Balvin's released before the Military Blue. So then I asked myself, why did they change the release date for the Military Blues if they already moved it once? Now, this person is the one who brought this to my attention. John Brown was just like, great. I feel like they moving the Military Blues to the 25th because it's Memorial Day weekend. That is gonna be one of those hot weekends where everybody wanna get fresh. Think of the holidays. Easter, people wanna get fresh. Fourth of July, Memorial Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, like these holidays, people wanna be fresh. And if you think about it, it's always a nice release around that time. These military blues dropping on Memorial Day is, to me, almost a guaranteed sellout. The malls are gonna be crazy. People gonna try to get in and out because they already got plans for the holiday. Them dropping them joints on Memorial Day weekend is gone be hectic but like i said army is going dang here be a guaranteed sellout and we still gonna get the shot drop like this shot drop is probably gonna keep the prices up high because between the shot drop and memorial day people gonna be spending that money just to have the freshest air jordans on to have the freshest sneakers on so it's really a game with nike man i'm gonna get that push y'all gonna get that men's grade school toddler preschool and i told y'all yeah if we see that grade school change around the time of the military force i wouldn't be surprised and some shoes they've already been converted over to the new sizing so this is going to be a big one and as far as the 25th being a release day they always shot drop anywhere from a week to three weeks before hopefully we get the shot drop around may 4th or maybe that following week in order for people to have them joints ready for memorial day army so again this this was okay just another money grab they gonna do crazy numbers for Memorial Day. They gonna go crazy with the Military Blues, one of the biggest releases of the year. The money weekend for them. The mall is gonna be crowded. The shoes gonna sell out, y'all. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Like this is one of them critical shot drops, like the Thanksgiving joint. You know what I'm saying? Like Fourth of July, you will get an okay shoe for the Fourth of July, but like the Memorial Day weekend, Easter weekend, like people always trying to be fresh for those. People trying to be fresh for the Fourth as well. And on top of that, y'all, it's going to be hot outside. People going to be barbecuing. Like, it was perfect. It was perfect for Nike to push these joints back to that day. Which also made me remember that the Jeff Nice Sneaker Convention is that day. So it's going to be a crazy day, man. Jeff Nice Sneaker Convention, Air Jordan 4 Military Blues. All the guys going to be in the building as well, y'all. So it's going to be a good day, Army. They see if we can even do a collab live that day with, like, my boy Jay the Sneaker Guy or something, Army. We're going to make some shake that day. But smash that thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Army, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army sent strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the Yeezys. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. Yo, it's old him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.